Hi, I'm Joey with Husky Towing Products. Today, we're going to be going over the installation of our Centerline TS weight distribution system. We're going to start by taking some measurements behind the axle and in front of the axle to make sure our trailer is level. That'll give us an accurate coupler height. Next, we're gonna measure the truck. We're gonna measure the front and rear wheel wells. We want a reference point of what this truck sits like before the load is applied. Now that we've got our trailer level, we're gonna move on to setting up the hitch head. What we're gonna first do is take a measurement of the coupler height. We're gonna start by putting the shank into the receiver and securing with our pin. Next, we're gonna move on to installing the head assembly. Now the hitch is adjustable. This pin here, when inserted into the top, allows you to adjust the angle of the hitch. The book recommends two to three washers, which come with the kit as well. Now, obviously there's some, there's some different adjustments here. We wanna make sure that we set this to the correct height, which is approximately one inch higher than your coupler when this trailer is level. Before tightening our bolts that go through the head and through the shank, we want to tighten this set bolt at the bottom. We want to bring it up till the top spacer is touching, then tighten about an eighth to a quarter of a turn. Follow that by setting the jam nut. The next step is going to be tightening these bolts. Once we've got the, uh, the bolts going through the shank and the head tightened down, we're gonna torque them to spec. Next, we're gonna move on to installing our frame brackets. We're gonna take a measurement from the center of the coupler back to a range of 28 and a half to 30 and a half. In this case, I've got room to go right in the middle. We're gonna go ahead and make a mark here. We're gonna start by bolting these onto the frame. The single hole goes at the top, the multiple holes aim towards the bottom. We're gonna secure those using a flat washer, a lock washer, and a nut. On the bottom hole, we wanna make sure that we're using the hole that is closest to the frame. We're gonna go ahead and torque these to spec. We're gonna repeat this step on this side of the trailer. Next, we're gonna set the height of the bracket. And to determine the height, we're actually going to install one of the bars and take a measurement from the truck end. I'm gonna remove the pin, put the bar all the way in, re-secure our pin, and then tug on the bar to ensure it's, in, it's installed correctly. We're gonna take a measurement here from the ground to the bottom of the bar. We're gonna apply that measurement to the same height on this bracket. I'm gonna repeat this process on this side as well. Counting the number of holes that are exposed on that saddle, I'm gonna place this one in the same position. Now we're gonna install the second bar and go ahead and bring that truck back and, and hook up to the trailer. I went ahead and assembled our lift tool. It's just a couple of nuts, a couple of bolts, and some washers here that hold the two pieces together. So we'll go ahead and hook up the truck now. We're gonna go ahead and lower the trailer down onto the, onto the ball. Once we've latched our coupler, we're gonna go ahead and lift the trailer and the truck up 
to release some tension so we can get the bars onto the brackets. In some instances, we're able to lift the trailer and the truck up, and we can simply put these on by hand. If needed, we have the lift tool. Simply insert the lift tool into the hole in the bracket and lift the bar. Once the bar is securely in place, put in the L-pin and the pin, make sure it's secure. We're gonna repeat the same steps on the other side. Once we've got the weight distribution bars securely on the brackets, we're gonna take the tension off this tongue jack and take some more measurements. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a measurement here. And we're within a quarter of an inch of our previous measurement. Taking some measurements behind the axle and in front of the axle. Once we're measured and we know we get the trailer level, we can move on to the truck. Now that we've taken measurements of the trailer, the coupler, and the truck, and they're all where we want them to be, we're gonna finish hooking up here, get everything pinned and safe, and we're gonna take it for a test belt.